I was like chilling out on the couch and I was just being lazy. And I was like, you know what? I should get up and do something. <laughs> so I came up with a riff when I grabbed my guitar. I was like just picking it up to just run scales and like do something. And I came up with a riff and I was like, ah, fine, I'll write a song. So that's it. That's what I came up with. And I was like, okay, that sounds like a really good chorus. So I simplified it for a verse. So that's what I'm going to do for a verse. Just kind of cycle through those four chords. Pretty easy stuff. I was doing the bridge. Stupid mistake. I just was like zoning out and had a brain fart and was like, you know, D, B, F sharp, A, D, B, A, crap. Because <laughs> I should have went to the F sharp. So I just did A for like, you know, twice as long as if I meant to do it. So, okay, uh, record, got the track on, good to go, yay, here goes the solo. Okay, bass part, here we go. So that thing is triggering Spear Drummer 3 with a big mini cable that runs into the back of my interface. It's pretty easy. I got a Yamaha DTX 502 and I got a homemade kit there. So it's like these cheap mesh heads. They're like one ply. I taped. Actually, now I super glued. <laughs> yes, damaging the heads. But they're, they're cheap. They're one ply cheapo mesh heads. The triggers are like five bucks. You can just get these like really inexpensive they're kind of flimsy but they're really inexpensive piezo or piezo however you say it triggers on amazon and uh you could use a cardboard box for a drum it's awesome taped up some lyrics I got an idea for a vocal melody I'm just gonna sing it I might try and just go all the way through this one like I did for the last song I did but we'll see what happens it's just me always is over So the vocals are done. I'm not going to do any harmonies. I think that's cool. I just uh, cut the uh, silence in the guitar solo, but yeah, I did do it in one take. The vocals are the blue line, if you can see that. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, trimmed in the solo because, you know, in case I was like standing here and like, you know, creaking on the m microphone through the floor or something like that. I don't want that kind of going through on the guitar solo. The vocals are just about my faith basically so that's typically the case i uh you know i write christian rock here so everything i'm doing is kind of like with the idea in mind that i'm doing these songs to praise god and uh that kind of thing it's basically about just you know walking in faith every day and uh, that's kind of typically the topic but yeah just in general is well last time i did one of these videos i was like kind of went off on a huge thing about it because like i saw a couple things up and i I got really like annoyed with it because people get way, way, way off base. And if you're a Christian, you just have to keep Jesus at the center. All the other stuff is just stuff. 
don't worry about it. So if you're walking in that faith and you're trusting that Jesus Christ is your savior, is your Messiah, and that his sacrifice wipes away your sins, you don't have to worry about all of the other nonsense going on around you because it's just that. It's a bunch of nonsense. It's just noise and it's distraction. And people get distracted by all of these things. And they're like, oh, what if this is this and this and this? And this? Shut up. Just concentrate on Jesus. You're focusing on the wrong thing. It's all just trying to pull your attention away. It's bright, shiny objects off to the side. Jesus lived a perfect life. He is the uh, blood atonement for our sins, and we're forgiven if we put our trust in him and we look to him. Our sins are pinned on the cross. He rose up three days later, three days and three nights actually, rose up and he defeated death. If we look to him, we have eternal life. This body is going to fade away, but you get a new one. And God is not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. So just keep that in mind. That's what my lyrics are about. That's in the description box if you want to see uh, what I wrote. And by the way, don't think this is going to be anything super profound or anything like that. A lot of times I just kind of like put words in there that fit. Also in that description box, you're going to find a link. It'll take you out to my music retailer sites where you can purchase and stream my music. And I hope you uh, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And... um gonna write another song actually probably this afternoon but right now i'm gonna go head out get some groceries go to the gym eat some lunch take a shower and then possibly come out again this afternoon so until then see you later enjoy the song